Yes, my dear friend, welcome back to the channel. It is Salon Block, and I'm coming your way all the way from Southeast Asia, Malaysia, to be precise. Look, it wasn't easy. The last night to this morning, it's not easy. We are still trying to recover from the pain, the pain of losing the game to Liverpool last night. We were so confident in ourselves. We were hoping that the game will come, will go our way. I, for one, I have been saying it and I kept saying it and I repeated it over and over, hoping that the game will, can, will know, will favor us. Yeah, I was supposed to be positive and I was positive, even though some part of me was still telling me that, look, it's not going to be deep within me, my instinct deep within me. I had that feeling, that strange feeling that, look, this game is going to be difficult for Chelsea to win. It's against Liverpool. Yeah. But it's understandable. As a fan, as a supporter of the club, I will have to be positive. And that is why I kept that positive mentality, hoping things will work out for us. Listen. Liverpool had injury problem. Yes. But Chelsea equally had injury problems. It's not as if Chelsea don't have players on injury. We equally have players on injury. Maybe Liverpool, they, they are now just feeling the, the injury situation. They, they are now beginning to feel the injury situation because it looks like they have about eight or nine players now on injury. But what people forgot is that Chelsea still have about eight or nine players still on injury as well. Quickly, Chelsea are missing Thiago Silva, Rhys James, Macrella, Wesley Fofana, Ram, Romeo Lavia, Kanechuku America, Les Ogochuku, Kasari, Kasadai, Kaptai. How many players are there? How many are there? Eight. Eight players. Now, you go to Liverpool. They are missing Moses Salah, Darwin Nunes, Dominic Abuzai, Curtis Jones, Diogo Jota, Trent Alexander Arnold, Alisson, and Thiago. Now, they also are missing how many players here? Also eight. So what, what is the problem? Why, why are they making it sound as if it's only Liverpool that, that is missing so much of players? Why are they making it sound as if Chelsea had all, his, all their 23 or 24 players available? Do you think if Thiago Silva was to be on a pitch, he wouldn't have made a difference? Do you think Rhys James couldn't have made a difference on a pitch? Why are they making it look as if it's only Mohamed Salah and uh, 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 Darwin Nunes that could make a, cause a change in a game? Chelsea also had Thiago Silva injured. Chelsea also had Rhys James injured. These are players also that Chelsea can make good use of. That could make a difference in a game like this. Yeah. Did you saw the head up that Van Dijk score, used to score the goal? The, the, the winning goal. You saw it. You saw that there was nobody around. Assuming Thiago Silva and Rhys James are available in that defense, most probably they would have been able to defend better because these are experienced players. We are blaming ourselves. We are blaming the coach. But we also need to point out certain areas that, we, that are very important, that are very critical. It, when people are celebrating club, they are not seeing any mistake. I watched a video when Klopp failed to even greet the referee. After the game, he was shaking the assistant referees, got to the referee, Carnaval. Klopp bypassed him and went and greeted the assistant referees. Was that right? Gary never, never saw those ones. If it's Pochettino that avoided greeting the, the referees, Gary never would have spoke, spoke about it. Gary never would have talked about it. But the media, the English media, they are not seeing that. Because they are in bed with Liverpool. Because Klopp is going, Klopp is their favorite. Klopp is everything. Well, it is true. We spend a billion pounds. We, even the fans, we know that our owners, they are, personally, I have come to my conclusion that we can't continue to be blaming Pochettino every time. Part of the blame, in fact, 70% of the blame goes to the owners. The decisions they made from the beginning of the season by not signing striker, experienced striker for Pochettino from the beginning of the season has been our shortfall, has been our downfall till now. And that is what Chelsea is paying for. Todd Bole and Clearly Group 
they will have to sit up and begin to think and reason, find solution to the problem in the summer. As a matter of fact, they will have to do that now, ahead of the summer. We can't continue like this as a football club. No, this is a billion... How you spent a billion pounds to put kids together, 18 years, 19 years, 20 years together. A billion pounds cannot achieve anything. Tobole, Edward Bali, and Clele, Clele Group, they will have to begin to rethink, find solution to the striking options we have. Look at the missed opportunities. No, tell me. Nicholas Jackson, yes, he's developing, he's growing. But another striker would have scored that goal. <laughs> My dear friend, you see, I want to go quickly to our formation we use. The formation that we use for the game. Because you know why? Our owners, they sat to cool, Thomas Tuku, right? Great. They are the same people that sat Graham Porter, right? As a matter of fact, they did not employ Thomas Tuku. They did not employ Thomas Tuku. It's Abraham movie that employed Thomas Tuku. They came in and they sacked him. Thomas Tuku that was there when the, the ship was in the temple land, during the issue of Abraham Movage and the government of the British government. When the whole club was in a, in a very difficult situation, he was there. He was loyal to the club. He, even for the whole season that they said he cannot sign any player, he was loyal. Chelsea could not sign any player at that moment. Chelsea could not spend money. Mastuku was there. He was loyal to the club. They came in, they, they sacked him. They brought in Graham Potter. Someone they could control, they can control. Graham Potter could not succeed. They now brought in our own legend, Lampard. After Lampard, they brought in Pochettino. Listen to me. It is not, the problem at Chelsea is not, was not Thomas Tuchel. The problem with Chelsea was not Graham Potter. The problem was not Lampard. The problem currently, partly, is not Pochettino. Partly, I said partly because Port himself is still making some mistakes. The problem is Todbole and Co. The biggest problem is Todbole and Co. And great Portatino, why I said partly because even yesterday to end the game, he brought in Trevor Chaloba at the right flank and he now brought Malugusto to the left. Taking out uh, uh, Ben Chiwell. I was thinking even Gilchrist after Gilchrist is on the bench, he could have come in and do a better job there so that Malogusto will continue to be on that right flank. And Nicola Jackson was better used on the left side of attack, left side of attack. Listen, dear friend, let's go back to how we started the game. We started the game with Petrovic. With Petrovic, you go post. Malogusto, Bisasi, Levakova, Benchiwa, right? Then we have Kasaido and Enzo at the midfield. Then we have Kopama, Galaga, and Sterling. Then we have Nicola Jackson heading the attack. This is how we started the game. Take Nicola Jackson to that right side where, where Raheem Sterling is. Bring Kopama, as we always see, to the attack. And let, and let Kopama, how do you call it, Galaga, shift a little. As a matter of fact, the game we played the last time, the same squad, the only difference was that Kopama was the one playing the number nine role, first nine. Jackson was on the left flank. And Jackson was able to take on Aston Villa. We saw on this side now, we saw Diaz, Raheem Sterling, do you know Raheem Sterling has zero Zero, how do you call it? Shot on target. Zero. Raheem Sterling had zero attempt on shot yesterday. 
you know it very well that Nikola Jackson performs better. We all saw it clearly on the right flank as a right winger. He even made a run there yesterday. He took the defenders of, of, of Liverpool on yesterday from that right flank and we saw the cross he gave in. So why didn't you just switch the formation and ask the young man to operate through the right? Why did you keep him, kept him on top? It is true that he was causing damage to Van Dijk. Yes, it is true. But that damage he was causing to Van Dijk, the goals were, the, 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 the balls were, were, was not getting to him. He was only doing the rounds. How many times did he receive balls there? But if we were to shift him to the right flank, he can, from, the ball from Benti was straight to him. We saw the runs he can make. Or the ball from Fernando, uh, Enzo Fernandez, the, the way he runs with the ball from that right flank, and that is why I said partly. This is how we started the game. And look at how Liverpool. They also started Ke Keleha, Robertson, Van Dijk, Konate, Bradley. They played 3 3 3. 3 3 4. Sorry, 3 3 4. Or 4 3 3, whatever we want to call it. They have Liz Diaz, Gakpo, Elliot heading the attack. Endo was the main man at the midfield. Enzo was the main man at the midfield. And we what we know. We also have Casado right at the midfield. You can't tell me that the work Enzo did, he did a better job than Casado. Casado did a great job in that midfield yesterday. Some were, calling, some were saying you could have gotten a red card from the beginning. Yes, but he didn't get it. I'm bringing this up so that we can analyze this game very well if you want to talk about the game yesterday. We need to, and listen, we cannot continue to be coming back every time and after we lose a game to be pointing out the same, that it's annoying. It annoys me to come back every time after we lose game to talk about the same issues. That means we are not learning. The team is not growing. The squad is not developing. Watch. I said it, that winning this tournament or this trophy could have saved you. I, I said it, that winning this trophy could save you at the end of the season. And trust me, the way things are going, you'll be a very lucky coach to end the season with Chelsea. You'll be a very lucky coach. The FA Cup is next. That is the only, the only opportunity you have to save yourself. The only opportunity you have to save yourself is the FA Cup. Otherwise, then the most difficult one is to qualify for Europe. You have to start climbing on the league table. You have to start climbing up on the league table. Sixth position, then you can only get conference league football. Otherwise, you are leaving Chelsea at the end of the season. I just pray and hope that things will change for better. Dear friend, I shall be back with more in the next hours. See you in the next one when you see me. Shalom and peace.